Hello, welcome back to Technical Tuesdays. This is the series where we explore how different parameters within injection molding can have an effect on the final part or product. In this episode, we'll be exploring how packing pressure and packing time plays an essential role in the injection molding process. If you haven't watched our previous episode, head over to our YouTube channel to learn about injection speed and the basics of injection molding. To understand the role that packing pressure and packing time play in the injection molding process, it's important to first understand the several stages that contribute to the final part being ejected. The first stage of the injection molding process is the raw polymer being pushed through the barrel where it's evenly heated into a liquid, allowing for the ease of flow into the mold cavity. Once the molten polymer is ready to be injected, the moving half of the mold will close, using clamping pressure to ensure a tight seal. Once closed, the molten plastic is plunged into the cavity using injection speed and injection pressure to fill the mold. It's usually filled to around 95% of the mold's capacity. When around 95% full, the injection pressure switches over to packing pressure. The screw continues to add pressure to the material inside, condensing it to increase its density and to ensure that the entire cavity is filled. This stage is known as the packing stage, where packing pressure over a certain time achieves the required results. The example we're going to look at in this episode is an electronic thermometer. What we're looking at here is the front of the thermometer. It has a window which allows you to see the temperature being displayed. To include the window in the product's design, we have to use a method called two-shot moulding, which is where you use two different materials during the same cycle phase. Two-shot moulding requires a specialist tool as well as a specialist machine. As you can see, the machine has two barrels. This is because there's two feed points for both materials to be injected. The first material to be injected is called the substrate. This is the base material for the two-shot process. Once this is injected, the mould opens and rotates 180 degrees, placing the substrate into the second shot cavity. Once the tool has opened, rotated 180 degrees and closed again, the second shot material can be injected over the top of the substrate. After the packing stage, the polymer is then allowed to cool, which is done evenly and efficiently by having cooling circuits run through key sections of the mould. Once the material has cooled and shrunk, the mould tool can open and the part can be ejected. Having the correct packing pressure before this stage is absolutely vital. If the material has not been condensed enough, the shrinkage will be uneven which can lead to sink marks and warpage. It's important that the packing pressure is held long enough to allow the outer material to cool. This allows the gate to freeze off. If your packing time is too long, then it's likely you'll be packing out the sprue and not having an effect on the part. This is to be avoided at all costs, because not only are you using more energy, which isn't good for the environment, but you're also increasing the cycle time, which will end up costing your customer more money. Okay, so that about sums it up for packing pressure. Um, we hope you learned something today. As always, if you have any suggestions or questions, please let us know in the comments. Other than that, we will see you guys in the next episode.